Welcome to Retro Crisis. Please support the channel by subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate how many frames of run ahead you need in order to minimize latency in RetroArch. If you're not quite familiar with Run Ahead or what it is, please check out an earlier video I made, which I've linked in the description below. If you did want to use Run Ahead, you'll have to do it on a per game basis, as the number of frames could vary between consoles and cores. So the first step is open RetroArch and load a game of your choice. I'll be beginning with Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Mega Drive. The first thing you want to do is on your keyboard, you want to press the K key and that will essentially pause the game. Next, I'm going to keep hold of the jump button and then I'm going to press K again to advance one frame. And there we go, I've pressed K and nothing's happened. I'm going to press it a second time. And again, nothing's happened. I'm going to press it a third time. And there we go. On the third frame is where Sonic's animation changes into the jump animation, or at least the first frame of the jump animation. So it took me three frame advances in order to get to the jump animation. So the third frame was the successful frame. So technically there were two frames of delay. So we don't want to include that third frame because the third frame is the desired frame, you know, the jump animation in this case. So I'm just going to unpause the game. I'm going to try that again, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, so I'm going to press K to pause the game. And this time I am going to press the up button for where Sonic tilts his head upwards. So I'm going to keep hold of the up button, I'm going to advance by one frame by pressing K. And then I'm going to advance again, so that's two frames. And in theory, on this third frame, Sonic should tilt his head upwards, so I'll press K once more. There we go. Great, so now I've determined using two tests that the game has two frames of latency. So it's now it's just a matter of going into the run ahead settings and changing the frames by two. So I'll press F1 to go into the game settings. And if I just go down to latency, and then I'll go down to run ahead latency, switch that on, and then change number of frames to run ahead to two. And if I just go back to the main game, press K to pause, keep hold of the jump button, and press K to advance one frame, and there we go. So I'm no longer waiting for the third frame. Uh, the jump animation actually happens on the very first frame because I'm using run ahead to skip those two frames of latency. Right, so I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do consider subscribing to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.